A giant has fallen. Yeah, I will go back to 1953 when I first met you. Actually, I say you because he's playing with me. It's Nibra Hume. <laughs> it, it was in St. Peter's Secondary School. And uh, of course, he had been a year ahead of me. So when he saw me there, he said, Excuse me, sir. We almost fought. <laughs> But uh, I found out that uh, Hugh was really a very talkative guy, very vibrant guy, and very, very nice guy, of course. And then uh, he had a mishap one day because he was a very good soccer right. And uh, we were playing against Kilnerton in Pretoria. When we came back, after he had been celebrating with the guys, celebrating the scores that he made for the team, and the guys were drinking straw. He, he was not familiar with that, you know. And uh, he puked in the bus, <laughs> and some of that got onto the, one of the teachers. That was one thing that added to his demise. I think they failed him that year for that. Then Father Huddleston came to him, and he was a very, very, Huddleston was a very nice guy, a very passionate person, and said, what do you want, you know, what do you want? Because he was quite brilliant, a brilliant student, and he was doing very well. But uh, he was naughty, man. He was still, you know. And, uh, he asked for a trumpet, and he got a trumpet. After that, I asked for a trombone, and then various other guys in the school asked for different instruments, and we ended up with a 14-piece band, which I said, no, let's call it the Harrison Jazz Band, you know, and the name stuck. <clears throat> he had a a girlfriend, Gumzana, where the guys used to go in the evenings to go and peep, you know, to see the girls when they change the, from their uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> they call they call it Hosagaza, Rosagaza. <laughs> he was part of that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw as that. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, uh, we started practicing our instruments, and uh, some professionals came and helped some of the guys. I didn't have anybody to help me. There was only one guy who was a huge trumpet teacher uh, who showed me the, what he called the C scale but I found out later it was a B-flat scale. <laughs> I calculated everything for myself. <clears throat> uh, we had the Harrison Band, which started performing in the school, you know, and uh, <clears throat> until one day some, some old men came to the school and talked to Harrison that we should go and perform somewhere, and the Harrison said, Who? no, they're using my name, but you got to talk to them. There were two gentlemen, actually. They came from the ANC, 
and uh, they said, uh, Bafanabam. And they mentioned the date. Because it was a little ring tarty, new performer, like Orlando Communal Hall, Tinasi, Sevens and Huddleston, Tipumago ANC. How? Just like that, it was an order. We went to perform at Orlando East Communal Center to raise funds for the Congress of the People, the Freedom Charter, 1955. <clears throat> we have a Because, you know, we, we were not going to be getting paid or anything. This order just came out, and uh, we were right in the middle of politics, right away, right there. And uh, that very day, that concert <coughs> was uh, interrupted by Otsu Otsi, you know, and uh, we were trying to fight, but uh, we couldn't because the ANC topies came out with chumbox and things and they were hitting every little... <laughs> Using the instruments to... Okay. <laughs> but I definitely learned no sagas. Anyway, do you want to put your hand on uh, I was Barbara, Babsi, Mabusha uh, Gomra Hukwa, Obranzinga, XLZ. I was Dorothy, Dada Welcome Somi, Pula, and many other people that I recognize, and some of you I don't recognize you. So I'll plead all protocol observed. Um, me and my colleague, we have lost a great friend. Maybe I should paint a picture as to where we come from because most people, when they think about the three of us, they think of the Union of South Africa. But that's not where we started. I started at the age of 15, singing with a group called the Cats and Jama Kids. And we were in Binoni, that's where my maternal grandmother lived. My mother shipped me away from Alexandra Township and shipped me to Binoni because in Alex, I was becoming a delinquent. And she could not stomach that, precisely because I was the last born of her children. So Binoni was calm. Binoni had nice people, people who did not go about carrying knives and so-and-so stabbed so-and-so's son and so and forth. So my mother didn't want that for me. And in Binoni, my mother's family, the Matupas, that's where I got the music. The Seminyas tend to be business people, teachers, lawyers, you know, the rest, and some Tzotis in the Seminya family. But the Matupas were really very artistic people. So my introduction into my grandmother's home my mother's home, that's where I got the music. My cousin, Sela, we used to call him Sela Ntupe, sang with a group called the Fivers. My other cousin also sang with a group. I think, I forget what their name was. I was a kid, these guys were older than me. So Sela, every time he went to, to uh, rehearse with the Fivers, he would pull me along. Because my mother said, don't you ever let him alone. Make sure wherever you are, he's there. Because this boy is very naughty, you know. So Sailor, definitely he would.
pull me along with him. And that's how I got introduced into the music. What happened is that one night, one of the five us did not pitch up. And he sang tenor, like top voice. This guy didn't come. So the sailor says, oh, but my little cousin can sing that part. He's got a tenor voice, you know. And I said, what? And they, now, I had been coming with Sailor for many days, and I've been listening to the songs. And um, somehow, I used to sing the songs with Sailor Kohai. You know, Sailor would sing the song with me, and I would, I would join him. But he was actually preparing me. So that night, they said, sing, you know. <laughs> and I sang with them. And I was frightened. I was, oh, I was frightened. But after that, after an hour of rehearsal, I began to like this thing. It sounded pretty nice. Maybe it's better than Alexandra Township Motofiarzoele in the Altis. So that's where I started. And then with the Katz and Jama kids, we were the junior woodpeckers. The junior woodpeckers were Big Tanja Zulana, Boskara, Pubujeri, Libo Boy Masao. And this is where I met Hugh. Hugh was young as I was. Hugh was only three months older than me. We were born same year. He was young as I was, and he played background. Not him by himself, but with the band that the woodpeckers had uh, put together. So there I was. That's where I met Hugh. We were 15 years old, he and I. And our friendship started from there. And when we went into King Kong, well, we used to be paid, bo, one and six. Sometimes we never even got paid. You know, two shillings and six pence, you know, after a whole night of, of performance. But we liked it. And my mother used to, every time I bring two, <laughs> two shillings and six pence, she would say, oh, that a woman regular. She tells the whole village <laughs> that I've really done so well. But anyway... So Huey used to play a background for us, and the time we went to King Kong, that's when we started to be real professionals, and for the first time in our lives, we were paid three pounds, 17 shillings, and six pence. That was by a dummy die. It was gang dummy. So, and that's how we, we, uh, we became professionals. And then the rest, of course, you know, he went to the States, and in the States, Guangwa followed. We were all buddies, even Bo Guangwa, all of us. I remember one time, Kilo Aratanaka like the drums. It was bad. There was this, this drama did not come. I think Nelu Ko Bantuman Switch and Guangwa was there playing trombone behind us, the Kansas Yamakis. So the drama didn't come. So it didn't make sense for the trombone to be there and the trumpet. So we said, uh, Can you? try the drums, and Gwanga said, yeah. <laughs> That's the worst concert we ever did. <laughs> and this time, I think we were about 17, 18. <laughs> but anyway, coming to, I don't want to keep you here all day long, but then in the U.S., I need not tell you how we got there and everything, but then we formed, the three of us, the Union of South Africa. And one of the things that I can tell you about Hugh and, and Gwangwa, Hugh was a hard worker, you know, just like I was, just like Gwangwa was, because when we were growing up, Bobra Kipi made us rehearse, but my K would say, my wait, it is not a rehearsal. Sometimes you want to go, but they would say, rehearsal, rehearsal. And that's what we did. So we never went on that stage wow. without... For hours, you remember, we would start at 10 a.m., eat breakfast, and then after 11 o'clock, then we would start rehearsal, and maybe knock off 12 midnight when Leda says, Hale khatale na. You know, that's what, uh, that was the union. And of course, um, the rest of the story with, uh, with you and ourselves, we will put it in our books. Then you can read, because otherwise. <laughs> So, like I said, he was remember a Remember when we were rehearsing in California, mm -hmm. the neighbors, you know, were listening. You know, we thought we were disturbing the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. But when we stopped now to go and play and perform <laughs> what we've been rehearsing, 
they complained. They said, I used to sleep, man. One guy says, I used to sleep so well listening to the music, man, the beautiful <laughs> African music. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we had to go and work. We had to work. Yeah. And we right. did. Yeah. We did. It was nice. Mm. And uh, because we respected each other, we, we did a good job of what we were doing. And uh, many people have asked, uh, what happened with the union? What happened is that we outgrew each other. Mm. You had a passion. For, for, for the stage. Wawa had a passion for arrangement. I had a passion for composition. And so we started not to say bye-bye to each other, mm. but to begin to concentrate on what we were about, mm. each one of us. And that is why even up to this day, we're still friends. There are many times when we would get together and do something together. But, but you that's remember, how. Mm. You remember the <clears throat> We went on tour in New York, mm. and uh, I got into a car accident. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? That's where the whole thing yeah. got messed up, you know, because I was <clears throat> late for four months, mm. and uh, coming out of the hospital, you the guys play. said, yeah, the guys could, yeah, they had they to could. continue doing something, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, that was the end of the Union of mm. South Africa at that time. We'll put it in our books. Yeah. So thank you for listening. Yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, needless to say, we cannot say, you know, we miss you. We know what it is because everything else will be cliche. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.